it's Dillo and welcome back to XP Craft. How you guys doing? I'm doing jelloy as per usual. And today, today, well, um, I would like to firstly apologize for the lack of videos over the last couple days. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't feel so great. Um, I felt like I was gonna lose my voice at one point, and I really didn't want to push that too much because that would have been bad. That was explanation for that. Uh, I felt really, really gross <laughs> over the weekend. And it was just, it was not fun. But today, actually, you know what, we're gonna go in here. Today I want to do just some simple stuff. I wanna get some interior decorating done around here. Cause, uh, yes, I do have slime balls. Excellent, excellent, this makes me happy. What is it, four string? Yeah. Cause I made, uh, I got uh, Kratos, as you know, the last episode, he gave me a pony. And I have donkey. So I went and I made the mule. And my thought is, is that we can use this guy. I don't have a saddle for him. So, actually, I should probably... I think I'm gonna have to tame him anyway. But, I don't think he's tame. Yeah, he's not tame. <laughs> well, I don't suppose it matters. Uh, I actually realized that he has spots on his back, which I like. I didn't know that mules in this pack had spots. Which is kind of cute. But he's gonna be our water mill mule. Come here, buddy. What? No, no, come this way. Follow me. This way. Let's go. He's gonna be our water mill mule because water mill mule. Yes, that's a weird sentence to say. Cause uh, water mills. I was just I was trying to think of how I wanted to like decorate it and how I wanted to do stuff. Cause I don't want to leave these buildings empty, and I feel like the longer I leave them empty, the less I'm gonna actually get around to decorating them. So I figure I might as well start with the couple that I have before it becomes like a long list of buildings that I have to go through and do stuff with. But, um, water mule, water mules, yes. Uh, we're just gonna drag this guy in here real quick. I did tear out the floor because I was looking for how this was gonna go. Uh, you stay here. Uh, but water mills, they, they weren't, I mean, I guess they could have been automated, you know, by stuff, but I'm kind of thinking that they weren't, or at least they're not gonna be here. And so, uh, I went down to, you know, like, I dug down here, and I was like, okay, so where's the center? Well, this is the center of the water mill, like, the wheel, and where it pops out, uh, there. And I was like, well, how can we do this? How can this work? And I'm not really sure, honestly. You know, we're gonna tear out some of the sand down here, because I might put something down here. But I want to make something that'll, that'll work to make it look like this thing moves, even though it doesn't because why, why not? <laughs> Honestly, the only reason is why not? Uh, you, we're gonna pen you up in the corner over here so that you don't get in my way for right now. You stay here, please, thank you. Good. Yeah, you stay there. But I wanted to do, like, almost a thing where you go, where it kind of goes like this, and then maybe there's, uh, I don't, I don't know, maybe there's something here that sticks up partly out of the ground or out of the space here you know where's the middle of this uh, let's see this is how many blocks is this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen what's half of thirteen isn't that like i don't i don't actually know what half of thirteen is uh we're gonna assume that the middle is right here because it looks like that looks like the middle okay so if we assume that this block right here this like space here is the middle I want to have something that looks like a, almost like a, a gear, I guess, maybe? So, something like that, that sticks out, and then uh, probably I'm gonna have some fences. I did bring a whole bunch of supplies with me just so that I could, you know, get an idea for what we're doing. But I wanna connect these two, so maybe right here, you know, like this, this comes up like so, and if I put a block there or something. Uh, there's, uh, maybe there's, a uh, something here that works as a, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, like a crank? And then the mule turns the crank, is what I'm getting at. And then we put Mr. Mule or Mrs. Mule, or put it, we put the mule, put the mule thing, and it goes here, in the middle, and is, I don't think it'll be tied by a lead because leads, you know, they break when the trunk unloads or whatever. But, you know, at least we could put like, I don't, 
I don't know, maybe we could do something like this. I wish that I had a, way, a better way to, but I guess, well, I guess fences would work to do just like a, like a, those, okay, if you follow me for a second, those carousel, not carousel, those pony ride things that you see at the fairs, right? Where they've got the ponies and they got the bars and they do the thing with the bars where they like walk around, you know, like the sectors. That's, that's what I'm, I'm thinking of here. And so, you know, we put like the mule in one of these sections, but uh, it would obviously have to be kept in there somehow. And I'm not really sure how I want to do that yet. So I think I might have to look something up to figure out how I want to connect these two things because the idea is that this, hypothetically, if this turned, this wheel here would turn sideways this way and it would connect to something that would turn this that way or this way. Uh, the, my camera movements aren't really making any sense right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's... Oh, actually, you know what? I have more important things to discuss. Look at this. Look at this. If you if you noticed something different... Um, can I? I actually don't have enough space to do this. Let's just... Let's just... Remove these things. Look it! I'm holding my own pants in my hand. But look it. I changed my skin. Because it's October! It's Halloween. <laughs> it's Halloween. <laughs> well, I guess it's not technically Halloween. But it's, it's October, which means that it will be Halloween. Which means that it is important that I wear a Halloween costume. Because it's October. So, yeah. I decided that I wanted to dress up. Because I can. So, uh, I, I made myself a Halloween costume. Props if you know who it is. If you don't, well, I'll tell you later. But I'm going to get to work on this. I gotta, I gotta do some thinking about this. I really just kind of jumped into this. I was like, well, let's do something. So, I'm going to... I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna think about this, because I don't... I don't know. I think I gotta go look up... I mean, well, I did look up water mills and, like, how their gears worked and stuff, and it really didn't give me any definitive options for how I was gonna do this anyway, which is partly why I just kind of jumped into this and was like, okay, let's try something. But I think I'm gonna fiddle around with this a little more and try to figure out how, in such a small space, I want to accomplish what I'm thinking of, and then I will return, hopefully. Because I have this that I want to decorate, and then I have the upstairs that I want to decorate that will only be accessed from the outside. And it'll probably be like more of a cafe area or something like that. And then, yeah. So I shall be back. Okay, so in a perfect world, I would be able to get this to look right. But since I could not come up with anything that looked even remotely like I wanted it to, I had just settled for... Uh, pretending it's not there. The, the perks is that it's underneath the thing, so nobody's gonna really look under there anyway. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, in a, in a perfect world, I would have built this on a larger scale, and it would have worked, and, you know, there would have been space for gears and stuff. Are you gonna be able to walk out of there? Is that, or are you gonna be stuck in there forever? Because you're supposed to be stuck in there forever. But I'm not sure that that's gonna work. It might. It might work. Can you, like, rotate your face around, please? So we've got Mr. Donkey here, and I think he might actually finally be... Oh, is he stuck? Oh, he might be. Yes, good. Okay. Good. Good, he's actually stuck. He can't get out of there, I don't think. I don't think he can. It doesn't look like it, because this is a one-block gap, so technically he shouldn't be able to see himself as able to uh, get out of this place. But that's perfect, because it means that now... Uh, in a perfect world, he would be pushing this around. <laughs> Great. That's exactly what I wanted, really. Uh, he would technically be able to get out through here, you know, we'd have to go like this, and then I guess like that would keep him in here. You know, just why not? Why not? It's not gonna hurt anything. I didn't have any more cobblestone, so mossy stone it is. Uh, but as far as things that can go down here, I really don't know. I mean, what goes in the bottom of a water mill? <laughs> what goes in the bottom of a water mill? Like, I don't know. There's, I mean, it would be gears and stuff. But I can't think of anything else. 
So I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, I guess I should probably uh, clear this up. Uh, do I have... Oh, where did my... Okay. Somehow I'm a brick short. Cool. I don't know how that happened. But yeah, technically, you know, Mr. Donkey wouldn't be able to get out of here. He'd just hang out in here. I suppose we could put some crates, maybe. I need to get another brick for this. I don't actually know where that brick went. I had all of the required bricks when I started. That's weird. But yeah, that's probably going to be it for the bottom of the watermill, because I don't know what, what goes there. I mean, I guess I could... If I, if I could, if I had, like, props and stuff that I could lean up against the walls and whatnot, you know, that would make it easier. But I don't really have anything, like, I can I don't put things in item frames, but that's not quite the same. And I have, I have, do I have any more stone brick? Yeah, I do. I have a little bit. Okay, that'll do. Let's put that there. So I don't know what I could put in the bottom of that besides some years and I mean well I guess the years are there already uh, I realize in all technicality that this would have uh, something funneling water over the top of it but we're just gonna pretend that that's it's okay it's technicalities man it's technicalities <laughs> technicalities we'll pretend that that's not a thing yes yeah, so he's stuck in there he can't leave that's good boop plop that there okay what could I put here I guess maybe I could put well, nothing really makes sense because everything I ever looked at that was a water mill is just shows like tools and stuff around it and that's not really helpful. <laughs> hey, Mr. Skeleton. Bye. <laughs> You're dead now. As far as what could go, oops, ow, what could go down here, I'm thinking maybe we put some, let's put some like storage logs down here or maybe not oak wood because that's the do I have any I have dark oak we could use that let's use that let's use dark oak we could do some some logs like this just here because why not I mean I, I really I, I don't know it's really <laughs> angry frustrated noises because I don't know what to put here. There we go. I mean, I guess I do know what to put here, but you, you know what I mean. Right? Right? Yeah, I'll put some logs there. Maybe I'll go get some rails and put some bindings there. Uh, let's actually put some lights here too. Just so that things maybe possibly don't spawn here. That would be really nice. Really nice. So we'll just say that they're storing some logs there. Maybe I'll take some more hay from the place and put it there. I really don't know what you would do. Like, what goes out of water mill? I mean, I, I will openly admit that I'm not a water mill expert. So I do not know. I don't, I don't know what goes in a water mill. So we're going to do that. Um, Do we want a window up here? Eh, why not? Window never hurt anybody, right? Uh, we'll just do, I think, spruce. Yeah, we'll do spruce wood. And I don't think it's going to be any kind of fancy window. It's just going to be like a hole in the wall. Like, oh, okay. Window to see the water mill kind of thing. There we go. Because it's hidden anyway. So, like, you can't, you can't really see it. But mostly what I know that goes in here is just, um, like, storage. But I don't really want to do that. So I'm thinking maybe we do some kind of tables in the back. Like this is like a break room or something. We'll go like that. And then a uh, crafting table. Well, I don't need a crafting table. Let's just do... We'll just do the simple pressure plate thing. Uh, just, just, just do the... Yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll do. Not the greatest thing in the world. But you know what. Whatever. Just say that they got like a couple tables here with... Uh, maybe... It, where's my table come here let's make some dark oak stairs something that doesn't that's a loud car blend in with the floor so much we'll just do this just put down a couple stairs you know just a little tiny chair nothing nothing special 
and we'll say, um, put some arms there on the sides. I don't, can I, no, I couldn't put arms there. Well, maybe we should make those booth styles. Let's make them boots. That'll, that'll work. We'll do that. This works. This works. Yes, this works. Put that there. Put this there. Yeah, because then it's not blocking the doorway. And then we'll get a couple more signs. Actually, you know what? I can make these out of this stuff right here. Signs plus. Thank you. I'm not trying to do anything terribly fancy here. I just, I don't want this to be so plain. And I don't really know what to put in here. Because, well, that doesn't look quite right. Because it's, hmm, should technically have the, uh, the booth on this side. Well, I guess, hmm, now nah, we'll just get rid of that. That's fine. This is fine. We'll do a stair there and a stair there. And then we'll just get rid of that. Don't need that there. I suppose to make it a little less open, I could put a roof on this part. Like a, a thing here so you couldn't see the upper part. But I kind of like it open. And I feel like I might put some extra hay bales or something up here. There's no, that's the problem I'm finding is that there's no real like decorative blocks that you can use that aren't uh, like hay bales and stuff. I guess we could do some kind of shelving up here. You know, like that and then do Something. Oh, well, I guess that's not going to work so well, is it? Because that won't connect. How about... How about... Gumstone walls connect to that? I don't think so. No. And it blends in too much. Okay, so we can't do that. Well, then I guess the alternative is to just do this. Boop. And that. Not the greatest thing ever, but it works. Just make it look like shelves. Uh, maybe they put stuff on it, I don't, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe they put things there. Important things. See, I don't know, this place just looks so plain. It's, it's making me angry. I don't want it to look plain, dang it, come on. I want it to look better than plain, but I don't have anything to put here. I'll all think about it. I might just end up covering this up just so that it doesn't look so darn huge and open. Cause I think that might be part of my problem. Of course, and that requires me to light it up, but you know, whatever. I'll think about it. I gotta think of some ideas here. Gotta think about it. Cause I don't, I don't know. I mean, this is plain, but there's a donkey in here. <laughs> I guess I could put some hay in here too. <sighs> yeah, there's brain work. This is the only problem I have left, is that my brain still feels slightly cottony, but whatever. Whatever. I'll, I'll figure it out. So I'm gonna think about what goes... Ew, wait, oh, wait, hold up, hold up. How did that happen? I can't even figure out how this happened, and I'll be back. Okay, so I have done a little bit of decorating here. Um, this really isn't anything special. I just put this there because I needed a couch or something in here. Uh, I put this in here, just some bookshelves. I really need something to go in this room, but I figured it'd just be kind of open, because why not? Uh, these are stairs, I think. I'm pretty sure those are stairs. Let's, let's actually, let's set. No, wait. Uh, uh, I want F3, please. No? Yes, stairs. Okay, that's good. That's what I wanted, because now I know that I can put two chests here and they'll open. That was my, uh, that was my plan anyway. I put some shelves here and nothing can fit on the shelves, but whatever. I did put Oh, I didn't actually put a sign on here. Well, I guess it's kind of obvious that that's my house. Uh, I didn't go around and put signs everywhere. You know, there's just like windmill and blacksmith and everything like that. Label everything, get it all good. Here, I did a little work. Put some trap doors around the edges. Am I missing any? I don't think I am. Oh, I need some up there. But other than that, I think it's okay. 
put some trapdoors around the edges here. Just kind of brighten it up. I do need to put stone buttons on some of these, I think. I just don't have any stone right now, and I have to go mining for stone. Because, yeah. Uh, in here, I put some tables. I mean, I, it's such a small space. And then I put just a little reading corner back here. Uh, don't know, ladders or something. Who knows? I need, uh, what I need is paintings. And I just realized that I used all of my wool for carpet. And that's not going to work very well. Uh, hmm. Well, let's change these back. I wasn't sure if I liked that or not. But I put some shelving in here for shelves. Uh, there's some chests here, a little table here, a couple tables, some carpet, crafting table, working shelf thing of stuff. I guess I could, well, I can make one painting thing. Oh, no, I can make a bunch of paintings, actually. Let's do that. Let's make some paintings. Because they're not the greatest things when it comes to, like, making something look nice. But I don't got a whole lot, so we'll just call it good. Okay, I guess I can do three paintings. That works. Okay, put some paintings in here. I got this. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to do that. No, I don't want that one. That was weird. Or that one. Come on. Come on now. Where's my painting? Thank you. Give me back my men with fabulous beards painting. Fabulous pointy beards or whatever. I don't want weird men in a hot tub. Come on now. I don't want the creeper. Okay, that's fine. That one will do. It's not the men with fabulous pointy beards, but it'll do. Uh, put one up here, one up there. Just a little plant and a little sunrise. Looks okay. Looks okay. We'll do. It'll do. And then down in the watermill, um, I looked and I looked and I looked for what would go on the inside of a watermill. And I really couldn't find anything except a lot of, uh, a lot of dust and stuff. So I just took some ores that I had and I put them around. Uh, put some gravel here. You know, figure it'd be kind of dusty. A little bit of iron. Who knows? I don't really know. And then I put the logs there with a little bit more iron. I suppose that could go by the blacksmith. And again, some more logs. Got the tables. Got a shelf. I put some beams in. Got some coal. Got some iron. Iron might be better suited to the blacksmith, but it's okay for here, I think. I think it'll do. And then the stables, if I can run over there fast enough. I did actually, somebody suggested putting uh, hay bales in the stalls, so I did that. And I put hay in the hayloft so that it is not so plain. That was a loud truck. That is a very loud truck, thank you truck. I still need to move this portal, but I, I'll figure out where that goes later. Uh, yeah, so we got a pony here, snowball, and then I put some hay in there. And then, because I'm not using this stall right now, I just put some extra hay that I had there. No, let me up. Let me up. Thank you, loud truck car thing. And then I just put a whole bunch of hay in the corners here. Figured that would do pretty well. And it looks nice. It looks much better. I like that with the truck doors on it. It makes it, gives it a little more uh, definition to look at. Because uh, I felt like, it, I felt like it was lacking with uh, the way this one has so much stuff on it. And then it didn't have anything at all. And then I think here I'm going to put no, I don't want that. I don't want that painting. I want... Okay, we'll do that one. That one's fine. That one works. Just to give it a little bit of something to stare at. And then up here, it's, it's kind of plain up here, but I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I don't have any more wool. I don't believe that's a block of coal. Yeah, I don't have any more wool. I suppose if I wanted to, I could take the bushes and put them outside. I really... Actually, I might need to do that have any bushes? I have birch leaves. I don't really want birch though. I didn't actually consider doing that beforehand. Putting like uh, leaves around. That's actually a good thought that I am just now becoming aware of that I will have to do. Is a little bit of landscaping. That's okay. But I think this is going to be a little bit shorter. My head's still just like <laughs> yeah. And I just don't know what I'm doing. So, apologies that, you know, it's just kind of a chill, chill little thing. Um, I should hopefully be feeling better soon. I mean, at least now I don't feel like I'm losing my voice, which is great, I suppose. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, I am glad to have made just a little bit of progress, though. And now everything is pretty much, you know, 
don't know. I really need to trim those vines. Look at those. Look at those. If that witch tower ever loads in. Oh my goodness. That is... Oh, I forgot about putting string on the bottom of those. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Oh my god. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna have... That's a project for off-camera is to put some string on those vines. <laughs> Oops. Oops. I didn't even think about that. Oh well. That's okay. That's okay, but either way, I think that, that is all I have time for today. So I apologize for not putting up videos the last couple of days. I didn't feel good. I still don't feel so great. I'm sure you could probably tell by the fact that I can barely say a straight sentence. Uh, but, you know, hopefully it'll get better soon. It, it It's getting better, which is good. So a couple of days rest did, did me well. Uh, I hope that, you know, hopefully it'll go away soon with a little more uh, stuff. <laughs> So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see y'all next time. Jello out!